hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about legacies season 2 episode 11 it's been a while guys but I am back or I'm trying to get back out of all this craziness that's happening in life right now I've been very busy but I'm back now so let's get into this episode because it was a very good one also I'm behind <laughs> so this is me trying to catch up anyways let's get started so this episode was kind of insane um it starts out with um the not so cupid coming out of the malivor pit and he escapes and he starts shooting people with arrows and in the beginning you think that he is cupid but you learn that he is not um so landon goes out because he sees him um shooting an arrow so he's out in the woods and he like jumps on him and he's like um i got you uh you need to stop he's basically trying to be the hero he's not the hero we know this but he's trying and that's all that matters and hope comes and of course she saves him and they capture um they capture uh the not so cupid so they capture the not so cupid and hope cuts his wings which i find to be very aggressive and like crazy but i immediately change my mind after i figure out who he actually is um so they cut his wings and they're holding him captive while hope tries to figure out where Alyssa put the ascendant she uses one of cupid's arrows to freaking stab Alyssa to make her heart like more open and more in love and you find out she has a crush on mg and mg is having his crush on kim caleb's sister so he wants to take her on a date and it's cute and everything but he ends up going on a date with Alyssa, trying to help hope figure out where the ascendant where she hid the ascendant so she can get um rick and josie and lizzie back and so they're going on their date and he's and she um she kisses they kiss uh and he's like i can't do this I just went on this date with you so I can figure out where the ascendant is and of course she tells him and they go to get the ascendant and he's like I really don't have a crush on you and she said who do you like and he's like Kim and I'm thinking the whole time don't tell her who you have a crush on don't do that and she drops the ascendant and it breaks and of course she does it on purpose and you can tell she wants to hurt Kim so he's scrambling on the floor trying to get the pieces together and hope comes in and she's like i should have done this myself and he's like well this is both of our faults and she says you need to go um look out for kim so he rushes to go look out for kim and meanwhile the not so cupid oh did i just do that the not so cupid escapes and he goes to they think maybe shoot people with more arrows but that's not the case Lantern puts together a save a ho squad with Wade. It's the little boy's name Paco Pedro Pedro, um, Drusilla, this new chick that we just find out about, and um, Caleb. And there's another person, but I can't remember who. There's a werewolf, but he doesn't come with them. And so they go out and they find him eating the heart of a person. So they figure out that he's not Cupid after all, and. With the information Kim gives them, they find out he's Cupid's older brother, who is a lot worse and crazy, and he eats people's hearts. So they find this out, and they're like, his weakness is he gets shot with one of his arrows, because they still think it's Cupid. They shoot him with one of the arrows. Well, Hope does. She shoots him with all of his arrows, but after Hope leaves, upset that Lennon is trying to be the hero, they figure out that he is the weakness is not his arrows because he's not Cupid. He's the older brother. So he escapes again and he goes after Hope. He stabs Hope with one of her his arrows, of course, and um she's burning from the inside out. He's gonna eat her heart, and Landon comes to the rescue. He takes the arrow and he stabs himself. Beautiful. He stabs himself and his heart is i guess growing and it's plump and the guy reaches in his chest and pulls it out and meanwhile before he even reaches in his chest and pulls it out he's confessing his love to hope and he's saying that i don't know why she chose me i will love her for the rest of my life i will love her with all my heart and it's beautiful guys it's beautiful and you're just like landon and hope are a1 day one um you love them oops sorry 
This is me getting excited, excited about their love. You love them and he reaches inside his heart and he pulls, reaches inside his chest, the um, pocos, pothos, and he eats Landon's heart and Hope is screaming and she's watching him die. But then all of a sudden, the um, Cupid's brother, not so Cupid, um, he starts to get gray and he starts to dying and he's just like oh, choking on the heart. And you find out that Landon ate a whole bunch of poison so he can kill Cupid's older brother because he did his research and of course Landon comes back and him and Hope share this beautiful moment in the tub and the water's just all over them and they're kissing and they're so in love and then later on while she's trying to fix the ascendant she finds out that he he actually asks her why do you have feelings for me or no she's like i i want to tell you why i still why i love you and why i chose you and she reads this um he reads this diary entry she had of when everyone forgot about her and how she really feels about him and it was just a beautiful moment and i love them together meanwhile emma and dorian got married and now that, that the cupid is like dead the not so cupid is dead they're starting to see the effects of oh my god we got married we're a thing now we're married and they're like oh but we need to find alaric we need to get him back it's a whole mess um and Alyssa is still in prison now because she tried to kill kim she literally tried to kill kim and slice her in half thankfully they stopped her now she's in a prison and Kim decides, this is not the school for me. I cannot be here, I'm not safe, I'm just a human. You guys are not human. So I need to go, which is the best decision she's made because she shouldn't have been there in the first place because something like this was bound to happen. So she decides to pack up her things and leave and she kisses MJ and they have this epic little moment and she's gone. So. Alyssa's in prison and Caleb is like rough to her he's like you need to find a new person to crush on because MG doesn't want you and you can tell in Alyssa's face that she now has found a new crush and it is Caleb how will Caleb and Alyssa get together we shall find out in the future remember that I have not watched the episodes after this so do not go in my comments and tell me if they are going to end up together or to spoil anything for me guys because I am catching up but um I can see a future in them she's crazy he might like a little crazy you never know um so yeah and Alaric and Lizzie and Hope are nowhere in this episode but we will see what's going on with them probably next episode and you guys will see how I react to that too so um at the end of the episode the necromancer and Chad Chance I almost called him Chance Chad dig up the dead body and they keep it and they also raid the armory the weapons armory at the school and they take everything and they find the gold arrow guys I'm not sure what this gold arrow is for but it is going down and we will see next episode I'm hoping because I'm assuming I'm assuming that we will see next episode but insanity anyways um yeah that gold arrow means something and they're keeping the dead bodies of all the monsters from Malivore that the Salvatore school has defeated so I'm guessing he's keeping them for some reason to bring them back get power from them I don't know because you know he's a necromancer so you know anyways um I hope you guys enjoyed this video I was talking really fast because my camera battery is dying and the charger is not working as well as I thought it was um so I hope you guys enjoyed um leave your comments down below on what you think is gonna happen if you already know don't chill don't say any spoilers um i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel because that would mean the world to me and i know you all are quarantining so you know i'm gonna be coming out with episodes and episodes <laughs> i'm gonna be coming out with videos three times a week again monday wednesday friday i hope you guys watch them i hope you guys enjoy and i will come back with my riverdale videos as well and catch up on these videos and do some more food videos and clothes videos and videos videos uh, i hope you guys enjoy um have a good day stay home um stay safe be safe i love you guys thanks for watching my channel and i'll see you guys on friday bye Guys, I forgot to mention, when Landon and Hope kiss at the end, 
Landon levitates. So I'm thinking this is one of his like Phoenix powers, but I'm not sure, but I'm loving it. And I hope he like discovers more of his powers. And yeah, so here I am again and here I go again. So bye, see you guys next week or next Friday or Friday. I'll see you guys Friday. Bye, cause today's Wednesday. Okay, bye.